on like a laptop if it's broken the fulcrum has it broken <laughs> but then if you keep opening and closing the laptop lid it's going to double as a wedge would on a screw where the repetitiveness wanes on the thing that is cracked at the fulcrum but is also leveling out around almost as like the um like one man's trash is another man's treasure it's just like here's a guy who looks at a note on the ground and he thinks it's his <laughs> okay that's not and it's just something where if it was more randomized like all the uh, aerosols as opposed to the uh color of the sparks and the fireworks the aerosols are more randomized and so if it could actually uh formulate uh formulate from banking off of that would be uh probably at the intersection it almost says like how the mirror's refraction is at 90 degree or at the 90 degree spray um of the entire plume would invocate a stronghold because it could capitalize off the bottleneck from the randomization I just love the iconic image of when uh, the ghost dissipates away when that's the opposite of when something materializes if it would materialize in a spray can uh, you could spray the spray and then it would turn into something like bacon You'd have to just invoke something as similar as when fireworks go off and they make like a surprising image, you would have the same dynamic. Anything can be recombinant because anything can be used as... In mathematics, a guess and check is like a plug and chug. Whereas if you can do that, you're going to have really good results when it comes to certainty. If you have an entire multi-universe, doing a guess and check for a spectroscopy between a matter spectroscopy and an antimatter spectroscopy, you basically have a flawless system. When someone strives to have a, wit, uh, a crystal ball, it's something as though reading perfect spectroscopy because everything has a heat print and that heat print dispels a amount of chemical bonding that has colors that is a spectroscopy barcode. Reading that would induce the constituents of its underpinning, mainly covalent bonding and ionic. We're going to step further. If you had a spectroscopy of an anti, an anti spectroscopy, you could ostensibly put that next to any of the original spectroscopies that you'd make classically with a matter that's, you know, net positive because it's not anti. And then you would have, uh, there you would have a, a second degree, ergo, a second degree of freedom, ergo, another dimension which would increase the analysis. So things that materialize and then dematerialize are so interesting because it can happen in a blink of an eye. But what happens when it's slowed down and you're able to see it if it's caught on camera, how is it articulating that exchange well I was just reading this book a psycho book and this lady's been having a hard time and then one of the questions that she got asked was his cat or I don't even want to read that that's how hard it is for her the um the instance that an occurrence for interactions to be so extreme is two cases. In a vapor storm, first off, vapors like water dissolutes 
but they're fine sifted and so that their like gradients are almost as nano particles to single particles it's on a whole new level and so when these things are about spinning about i just saw a picture there is a, a vapor storm is like a giant tornado it's just a plume so instead of lightning bolts what would achieve are hot flashes these are things that just spontaneously combust if you see a lighter and you flick it you see this the spark and flash that's what a hot flash ostensibly is but there's one thing in particular that they do they um vacuum in water and then shoot it out everywhere and it induces a fire exchange and that's the flash part so if inside of a vapor storm all these little tiny vapor water distillates were doing uh hot flashes everywhere it's actually orchestrated in a collective storm where the thunderbolts aren't random they're just really well generated from a great randomization so it's utilizing the randomization in order to um next level generate an exchange so in an occurrence of the vapor storm, sure, but what if it went conductive onto a different object, such as, you know, when lightning bolts strike, they find things that are um, like tall and metallic. Well, in a vapor storm, if it had a whole bunch of these spontaneous combustion hot flashes everywhere, it would be trying to find something probably less uh less stark as like a big metallic object so it's able to since it's on the next level of the small distillates like banging around instead of like big water droplets it's able to be more picky because it's like a hybrid of a regular storm so it would be going around f trying to find Things that have iron, and things that have iron are everyone. So that, <laughs> that one thing, if a coagulation, if it's controlling and like um, conducting the superconductive fluids, iron in liquid uh, can be a superconductive fluid, but if you have like a thing honing in on it, like a vapor storm, it'd uh, your body would be like having the iron particle. It would be a fluid with the iron, but then it would be turning into the particles of iron surfacing, and this would be uh, utilized like doubling in the randomization utilized from all your joints and bones being like a Faraday cage and when there's a Faraday cage if it's being utilized as a Mandalay a Mandalayan effect it's going to be able to deduct spectroscopy on top of the conductivity of the superfluid and so in that exchange, um, something as spectacular as um, dematerializing and materializing, someone could disappear if they were hit with um, enough of the conductivity from the vapor storm, and it would literally um, be gone in a flash meaning they would. It's just the view of nanoparticles as something that's so small that you can fit thousand in them in one cell and then you'll still have extra room. Your cells aren't random because they all have parts of your gene in them. Uh, the majority of them do, but there are so many of them that you would think that 
there's no way that they all correlate and read on the same page. Well, actually the majority of them do, but the articulation of them where there's so many of them is just how so many of them in different shapes are all randomized at any point of time.